Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome the President of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Diba nandoon ka rin? Nandoon kayo? Hindi kayo pinayagan? Hindi kayo pinayagan ng ano ninyo? Okay lang. Sirain mo yung kamera. Well anyway. I am glad to be back from my official trip to Japan. My meetings in Tokyo were productive and specific gains in various areas of economic, socio-political security, and defense cooperation. I discussed with Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in full detail the state of Philippines-Japan ties, and we identified points of collaboration that would lead to a common path towards the achievement of shared objectives. By all accounts, and by any measure, Philippines-Japan ties today are excellent, and we agreed that we can take things to a higher level by harnessing our respective strengths and using these so both countries can have their economic strength further grow and the countries can continue to play the rightful role in the region. In security and defense cooperation, we recognize the importance of vibrant political and defense exchanges as we seek to build a stable and secure environment in our region. In this regard, enhancing capabilities in maritime security and maritime domain awareness is a key priority. Japan will play a vital role in modernizing the Philippines' capacities as a nation with maritime interests to protect. The acquisition of our maritime and air capability assets are crucial in addressing traditional and emerging threats to our nation, including piracy, criminality at sea, and terrorism, as well as in responding to disasters. As countries that share the values of democracy, adherence to the rule of law and peaceful settlement of disputes, the Philippines and Japan agreed to work closely to advance the rules-based region to maintain stability and security in our region. Everyone in our region and beyond has a stake in the South China Sea. Both governments committed to ensure 
the freedom of navigation and overflight in these waters. We have a bilateral and multilateral venues at our disposal to ensure that commitment, commitments and responsibilities are complied with under international law, including the 1982 UNCLOS. Economic cooperation remains a linchpin between our dynamic relations. As I sought greater partnership to create, an enabling environment for both our businesses to thrive, I encourage private businesses in Japan to invest in the Philippines. Among the deals signed between the businesses were the investments in manufacturing and agriculture that will generate considerable number of jobs. Japan is well placed to remain as the Philippines' top trading partner. We also agreed to harness official development assistance to support inclusive growth and sustainable development in the country. Japan is our number one ODA partner and under the JICA high impact projects benefiting our urban and rural areas will be undertaken. I sought and received Japan's continued support for the peace and development agenda in Mindanao. As we moved a step towards the goal of the just and lasting peace for the peoples of Mindanao and for our country. In all my interactions in Japan, it was clear to me and to everyone that Japan is and will always be a true friend of the Philippines. Considering our shared meaningful history and the amazing transformation of our relations, its excellent level, my official visit was another defining moment for the solid and strategic partnership between our countries. This relationship stands on unshaken and firm ground cemented by mutual trust and confidence. The Philippines and Japan relations can be best viewed as an exemplary partnership that can only gain greater strength in the years to come. These are the relations that we value as we seek to implement our independent foreign policy consistent with our constitution, protective of our national interest, and beneficial to our people. Marami, salamat po. Now, a uh, few questions, as always. Mr. President. So can we can generate news and intrigue and all. <laughs> And, uh, but this time I felt that uh, I was looking at the skies uh, while I was uh, coming over here. And I, I just, everybody was asleep, snoring. But uh, I, I, a voice said that, you know, if you don't stop, uh, if that's, uh, I will this, I will bring this plane down now. And I said, who is this? So of course, it's God. Okay. So I promise God to not to express slang, cuss words and every. So you guys are. Uh, uh, hear me right always because uh, promise to God is uh, he promised to the Filipino people. Yes, go ahead. Mr. President, the first question is from Sanke Shimbun, Mr. Froilan Garcia. Hi. 
Good evening, Mr. President. I'm Froyland Garcia from the Japanese Daily Newspaper, Sangai Shimbun. Uh, my question is about your close meeting with Prime Minister Abe. Uh, can you share what was discussed, especially the rest mention of the current relation between uh, the Philippines and U.S.? And then my second question is, was there any recommendations made by Prime Minister Abe with regards to your strained relationship with the United States? Uh, yes, uh, we always do. Uh, I cannot avoid talking about it. Uh, uh, so maybe uh, the Prime Minister has his own questions, but uh, we have agreed that uh, these things uh, should remain confidential as of this time. No specific uh, or affirmative uh, discussions taken. No negative ones, actually, but I, 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 we agree that it would be best just to let it off for some time. Sir Kalapa, how do you view the relationship of uh, Japan with the U.S.? Again? How do you view the relationship between Japan and U.S.? Well, that is the business of Japan and the U.S. Uh, I have nothing to do. <laughs> my, my business was with Japan and the Philippines. Excellent as to the other side. Uh, you ask uh, the United States. I, 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 I refuse to ask to, uh, uh, answer questions for them. I said uh, it was sort of a sobrosa thing for us, both of us. The second person who will ask a question, Mr. President, is Ria Fernandez of PTV. Good evening, Mr. President. A week ago, the DOLE reported some 16,000 private contractual workers uh, who have been regularized. I would like to personally ask, to personally hear from you, um, how about those contractual workers or workers in the government who are working under job order, talent status, and uh, contract of service? What uh, is the government's plan for them? I'd like to congratulate first uh, where it is really uh, due to Secretary Bellio. The fact that there are a number of Filipino employees already regularized uh, is something which is... Uh, as well for the country, actually. Uh, the second uh, question is, uh, ano nga yun? Kakalimutan. Sir, ano I mean, I know the, the uh, I want the meat of the mo of your question. Mm -hmm. um, the government has been successful in four months uh, for those uh, contractual workers in the private sector. Ano po ang plano naman natin doon po sa mga nagtatrabaho sa gobyerno under the same nature of work? Job order, talent status, etc. Sigurado ka yun ang tanong mo? <laughs> you know, it would be a incongruity to discuss it fully. And you keep on asking why until now, there are so many thousands of customers in government. You know, government provides employment. Kung maari lang, thousands upon thousands of uh, employees to run the state. Yung kanila ba naman, ilan lang, even if it were 500, we employ millions. I have yet to buy the printing press that can print money plenty. In other words, uh, uh, at this time of our national development, we are not as yet uh, ready to assume the burden of uh, providing everybody with the salary that can compare with the, and even in the matter of managerial level. Wala pa ho tayong eh, accounts. We'll do ko. One hundred thirty lang eh. Tapos pabalik-balik ilang besen tayo nag-uusap dito. Uh, I should be... I'm having uh, my, my headache. Uh, hindi kaya ng gobyerno. 
Kasi uh, as uh, we progress, the state affairs also gets to be bigger and more employees needed. But uh, our uh, uh, income, the, the, the GDP, that's income actually of government, GDP is uh, not that the good. Uh, uh, maybe in the in the fullness of God's time. But if I assure you, pag ginamit lang ito lahat to the last centavo, ang pera na inibinibigay sa atin o pinapahiram natin, I am very sure, I'm not talking as a politician or as a president, pag nagamit lang ito ng husto at wala lang graft and corruption, ang buhay ng ating mga kababayan gaganda within the next three years. Sigurado ako niya. Huwag lang kurakutin ang pera at talagang aakyat tayo. The one thing that was really, or that is pulling us down until now is uh, graft and corruption. And I would like to announce to all and sundry, I will be harsh I will be harsh in dealing with people in government or in the private sector, dealing with government in a corrupt way. Because then, pinagsayangan ko lang itong pagod ko. Ilang beses na ako pabalik-balik dito. Tapos ganunan lang ang, you know, it's time to stop. It's time to stop. Our levels of income, maybe before you can afford this, you can do that. You can send uh, your uh, children to faraway places. You can, you know, but this has to stop. Prominent among the offices in government, which is usually the object of anger, and hatred by the Filipinos ang customs, pati BIR. And in the highest levels, yung mga tax exemption that could only be given to the rich. And the oligarchs. No special privilege this time. No special privilege. Saka lang lahat ng guberno, taga-guberno, pag wala kayong pera, pasensya kayo, you ride the economic class. Pag may pera ang opisina ninyo, pasensya rin kayo. You ride the economic class. Ayaw kong makita ang mga taga-guberno, and I'm warning you there is a rule, it's still uh, in effect about using you in the casinos and because I'll begin to ito, tang, ito namang NBI uh, tamang-tama naman itong we have the police and uh, I think uh, the NBI will be redirected to investigate lifestyle check corruption and I said I will be harsh Wag na ho ninyo akong tanungin kung ano yung hearts. Kasi yun ang ginamit ko noon when I was asked, what will you do if, I said, I will be hearts. In all of my, medyo ano tayo, tis-tis na lang muna tayo. And uh, corruption has to go. Lahat, and uh, local governments are uh, encouraged. Uh, I, 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 I suppose that I do not have to take a stronger measure. I do not want to pick a quarrel with the local government's uh, executives. Pero kung, makasal, kung mayroong kumang kasalanan, do anything there, huwag kayong pumasok sa droga. Madidisgrace siya tayong lahat nito. I'm telling you, I'm not joking. Eh? Madi-disgrace ka talaga. Because if you do, do drugs, pati kayong mga police, 
pati kayong mga Do I have the may nagdala sa inyo ng what's my aid? Dala ba rin yung pinakakapal? I do not want to make this public because it will just make the Filipino cry. Kung nandaan yung sinong Tingnan nyo mabuti ha. That's why I want to talk to Congress. I want to talk to the Judiciary, Supreme Court. I want to talk to the military, the service commanders. Hindi ko kaya ito. Ganon mga listang labas niya, mga pangalan. Ay, bali. Ito na yun. This is the drug industry ng Pilipinas. Hindi ko kaya ito. Kasi, uh, ang taga-human rights mag-commit ng suicide. Kung tapusin ko ito lahat, so, ang aming estimate is uh, per person yung detoxification plus the medicines and the rehabilitation to reach trillion. Almost a part of our budget. Ito na yung if not controlled, and when I am no longer around, try to remember me because you read this. This will convert our country, narco politics, very thoroughly. Nandito na tayo sa narco politics, police, wala masyadong army, police, barangay captains, kagawad, pati barangay captain dito, And uh, I, I mean, it was submitted to me for validation and revalidation and revalidation. Ito ang dumating sa akin. Its space there has a name. I... I'm even dumbfounded. Ito ang nangyari sa Pilipinas. Nakayaan eh. I'm not blaming anybody. For after all, I was also mayor of the city for 23 years. Pero at least dito, kundi ang tama, not so many. Kasi, Takot mamatay. Dito sa Dabao, wag na tayo magbulahan. Walang gumagana dito. Kidnapper, gano'n. I mean, mayroon pa naman yan. Kasi takot mamatay. Eh, tama ka talaga. <laughs> so, dadala ko ito. Hindi ko alam, pero it's, it's always... Uh, yun ang drug industry. So, sinong gustong... Instead of... Uh, Sending me to prison or uh, likening me to a dog with a leash. Parang tinalian mo sa poste. Tapos, oh, pag hindi ka nag-behave, may patay pa dyan, itatapod mo yung pan, medyo malayo. Ay, yung aso na ano, Parang ginawa akong aso na Pilipino na gutom na hindi ko maabot kasi kasi oh, assistance, aids, hinto yan, anak ka na. Whatever happened to your humanity and to your... Di mo na lang inisip yung 3 million na yan masisira a lot. You know, it will destroy my country. That's why I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Yan, it will destroy my country. Wala akong ibang mapuntahan eh. Pero, kasi hinto-hinto lang ako because my mouth would rumble on to some other words and I believe, mag, mag ano na naman ako. Yan ang 
yan talaga ang tama ng ginawa nila sa amin. Liken me to a dog na sabi, no, no, no. So, I will throw the pandesal far away, but you have to jump at it, choking you in the meantime, because ang pagtingin nila sa atin, patay gutom. Yun namang kumakampi doon sa mga hindi lang naintindihan eh, because you know, it's easy to criticize. Libre yan eh, walang bayad. And you can say anything because you have at your disposal the clause of uh, guarantees of freedom of expression. We will swallow everything there. E kami yung naghingi ng trabaho na ito eh. And we were conscious of that. And maybe as a lawyer, all alone, as a mayor also, I was really... May, may kabana ako na... But it was not until after I became president na yung piniga ko na talaga lahat lumabas na. Sabi nila, it's a medical problem. Pati ba kami na nakatapos ng high school, bulahin mo pa ng gano'n? Whoever taught you to buy sickness there, binibili mo yan siya po. You give me that pakihawa ka ng tainga ko dito. Ah, tainga yung bunga nga ko dito banda. Para hindi mag... Yan ang ano. The magnitude and the enormity of the problem will sap. And sabi ko sa iyo, I gave you the computation, I will repeat it so that they can hear. Wag na yung aking coming. I, I will breach the million mark at the end of the year. Yun na lang kay Santiago sa, sa Pedea noon. Three million. Uh, ang finance secretary made a computation. It amount to trillion. Detox, medicina, doktor, tapos sabihin mo lang may namatay dyan na 3,000, hindi mo nga alam kung sino, merong namatay, then and you look at me as if I, am, I enjoy killing my own countrymen. How I would love to do it to somebody else's territory. Pilipino, bakit? Kayo lang ba may puso na? When you have a sordid history of your own civilization, and yet you try to be prim and proper, let's cut the hypocrisy of this. That's why after this, I have to talk to the Malaysia, I'm, not going, I, I'm, I'm going there to complete the tour because those are the only countries that would really matter to me. Malaysia, because we have a, the Molokka Strait, we have this piracy going on. Every now and then, it puts to shame everybody. So it's high time that I talk to, again, President Widodo and uh, Prime Minister Nabil. Uh, we have to do something about it. And... Uh, Walang sisihan dito ha. Because ang propose ko talaga ganun din. So let's the ultimate. Why would I always chasing you? I'll just blow, blow you to this. Huwag mo akong bigyan ng I guess like what they did in uh, Africa na mga malalaking barko, puro oil. Ginag ginagawa na ng mga oh, Well, I'm warning you. Noon kasi kinakapture kayo. Dito, ang tataba dito ang isda ninyo. I'm not joking. I always go for the ace. Bakit ako mag... I have to talk to Malaysia. I don't know their standard of justice. But Indonesia and Philippines, more or less, uh, mga hardliner kami sa... You know, Anything that is really out of this world that creates an outrage in a human being. Hindi ba tayo nagkulang sa ating spirituality, morality, but uh, enough is enough. 
And kung makuha ko yung gusto ko na magdating, there's gonna be a real magrasil-dasil ako dyan banda. At pati itong mga, itong siyabo, nandyan na kasi. So I have to study very carefully how now to balance our money because they have to be treated. Akala lang siguro ganun lang. At 3 million, assuming that the Santiago was correct. Diyo na Santiago. Yung detox period yan, alam mo il- ilang bayad ng ito mga private uh, rehab? It's almost 100,000 to, to 200,000 iman. Ang alagaan ko, may mga pera to. Eh, ayaw naman ng human rights na patayin natin. Pero, pumunta kayo dito, tumulong kayo, kung gusto ninyo, kayo na ang magdala sa... Just give me the advice and the instructions and I'll, I will do it. Per your uh, saintly objectives. Next question. Good evening, sir. Uh, first question. Apparently, in the, in the recent days, you seem to be leading us from strategic dependence to a strategic independence stance. But then, there are things, na, there are times that the signals are sometimes so mixed that people find it hard to understand. So, I would just like to ask you, if at this point, since people are, in, are important point yun eh, ang tanong ko lang po, sir, is there a need for government to, uh, for, uh, uh, to effectively or better communicate government to the people when it comes to that. The second question, sir, you're bringing home the bacon with that much uh, from China and Japan and everything. Now, do you think there is a need to have a comprehensive inventory of all those aids, all those even past, ano? Because there have uh, there had been problems before, especially about o, uh, ODAs with government not being able to put up the necessary counterpart so that those projects were not were being uh, were not being implemented now yun lang sir Hello. ang nalaman ko lang ng katarantaduhan dito ay yung bangka ng mga sa DA pag assume ni Pinyol Secretary Pinyol nakita niya maraming bangka doon pati yung mga tractor farms. Yun ang aid. But you have to put up the counterpart. Yeah. Eh, ibigay mo sa farmer, saan siya makuha ng counterpart? Kasi yung mga bangka, yung pinatawang ko sa Basilan, sabi ni Pinyon kasi counterpart, sabi niya, ang kuwa, <laughs> di bermain kuwa. Isakay mo yan sila dyan sa bangka. Dalhin mo doon sa buong malayong dagat. You, you waste money yung I have to deal on, on, on these things, the requirement. And they are there in the warehouse, the bodega. Hindi nagagamit dahil walang counterpart ang pera ng ang partner na beneficiary. It's the most. Hindi ko talaga maintindihan bakit gano'n. Alam mo kung mayroon akong sekretary o nang gano'n, barilin ko sa harap dyan sa cabinet meeting. Pelet lang sa ulo yung paintball. Baka istupido mo naman. Hirap na nga saan mag So, when she, he assume, sabi niya, may, may makaraming traktor dyan, pati yung... Mm. Sabi ko, bakit? Eh, hindi nga mag... Sabi ko, Adre, you know, bride ka man. Eh, si Pinyol, magna kong laude. Totoo. Mahilig lang sa boxing. Pero magna kong laude, ano eh, just a farm boy, ha? But he's very well educated, and you can maybe be ready. You have the chance to hear him talk. He can read this it out with anybody. Well, yan ang sabi ko. Itong counterpart, counterpart. We'll have to rationalize it. Same thing. Then I would say to the donor, if that is the way how we do it, we can never give it back down to where it belongs. So. In the meantime, kung wala kang counterparty, ang gobyerno, 
Ang pinag-usapan naman nito ang tulong sa tao, hindi naman ang gobyerno. Then if you have the money, I, I will spend, spend all the money of government. Ako ang putap ng counterpart. So, total, eh, nandiyan na lang rin. Pero at least masahan mo ito, yung tinatakutan nila, those were also the misgivings of, I, I would not mention the name. Sabi niya yun, sabi, we bought the top on a, sabi ko hindi mangyari yan. It will never happen. That's why I'm warning you, pag hiniya mo ako doon sa nagbigay niyan, eh, takihiritan kita. Do not humiliate me because just like what the Americans did, hindi ko kaya mag-ano na pahiyain mo ako sa tao. Kagastusan kita ng panahon. Lahat ng kurap, parte lang na magdadala from the directors down. And one thing is that there will be a government monitoring every day. And I want a chart made big enough to magkasya dyan sa palasyo ng Malacanian. Hindi naman nakatira dyan. And I will, uh, including lahat, sa police, uh, lahat. And uh, pati yung mga gasolina, gasolina. Time to stop. Time to stop. But uh, in, in return, I, can, uh, I, I promise you that uh, I will give you a clean government, an efficient one, and uh, which holds uh, a promise to our people for their tomorrow. Sir, yung communication po, sir, na aspect. Do not whisper, I cannot hear you. De, sir, yung communication na aspect po, sir, the first thing that um, I ask you, yeah. Ah. Uh, Oo. Do you think government should make it be, uh, should better or more effectively communicate? Well, if you have a problem with finance, you can go to Sunny Dominguez. If you have anything that cannot be solved by any of the guys there in Malacanian, you can go to Medellia. Uh, if you have uh, illegal uh, matter to which you cannot solve, uh, the man on the blue suit there, uh, Tony Panelo, the sartorial... Uh, Sir, that it has something to do with the strategic independence that you are pursuing. Ah, garoor lang yan. But alam mo, ang nakakaintindi lang yan, yung, lalo na yung, ito, like, sani, nakuha na nila, like, yes, I. Ngayon, sabi nila, naintindihan ka na namin. Sabi ko, sus, ginoo ko. Istorya mo lang yan. Wala pala kayo. But, uh, you know, uh, it's always a, it's always a timing, you know, uh, calibrated uh, moves and everything because you carry the burden of the people. So it's always timing, calibration, but, but, and I would like, it applies to every, whether a human being, your decisions, the military, or whatever, watch out for a miscalculation. Yan ang pinaka-dangerous. You miscalculate everything. Because you will drag down the Republic of the Philippines. Ayan of PNA. Welcome home, sir. Uh, my question is, uh, sir, uh, there are offers of commitments to uh, support the Philippine government on infrastructure development. Uh, does this include uh, the Mindanao Railway System and uh, the Samal Bridge uh, Project, Japan? Uh, is there an offer from uh, government, Japanese government, uh, to do the Mindanao Railway System and uh, the Samal Bridge Actually, Project? Actually, the use amount. Uh a greater part of it is addressed to agriculture. And uh, I remind uh, again everybody, you better do, do not fall into the trap about democracy and election. As it is, nandiyan na yung mga barangay captains na yan, nakahawak na ng puesto. And they have the money to no intricate programs down there unless uh, 
we can solve the problem of uh, the narco politics which is already in the country. And the national government again, the portals of the national government, it would be a far-fetched idea if somebody uh, next election three or four, just like what happened to a senator who was responsible for the the mess that uh, we are into dyan sa mga prisuan. Tayo lang, classic example, I, if you read the book of Ion Grillo, saan ka nakakita dito na ang mga nasa ilal sa loob tapos they by sheer negligence or whatever everybody was provided with the means of communication to enable them to carry on the shabu industry to its new heights saan ka nakakita ng ganong gobyerno and why would you tolerate it and to say that I, I should behave, I keep on harping on that. Tree. I'll tell you, I will triple it. Pag hindi na sunod ang gusto ko to get rid of my country, you can expect about 20,000 or 30,000 more. There is a war going on. I'm losing two, three policemen a day. It's a war. How could it be a purpose genocide of killing a helpless person there? Kneeling and... Wala ang walang ganon. We do not gather uh, children and young men and shoot them. It happened in our country. Ten years old and above. Pinatay. In summer. Balinggiga. Alam mo kung sinong gumawa? Amerikano. Next question. Sir, uh, what's the uh, commitment of the Japanese government on um, the narcotics? Uh, war, the Philippine government? Yes, it was included. Meron din sila. And they call it the narcotics problem. They have the same problem. Uh, marami kasi yan, especially I warned them about drugs because shabu can be easily cooked. Unlike the poppy, cocaine and heroin, you have to process it uh, from its original uh, derivative na lang yan eh. But itong shabu, it can be cooked uh, uh, just beside the factory and sabi ko sa kanila, be careful, be careful. Huwag kayong magkumpiyansa dyan. Ruth Tumantan of uh, RGMA. Ruth? Hi President, good evening. Um, there are about 500 local government units who um, are facing investigation right now by the Office of the Ombudsman President who failed to comply and implement the Solid Waste Management uh, Act. What is your thoughts and maybe your order? Well, uh, you cannot say that for the vow. Oh. We were one of the first. Yes. Problem yes. is money. The problem is money, but there are so many grants now around the world. If it is a project about environment, maraming pumapasok. It's a matter of managing the offers and putting them in place. Yan ang kulang sa atin. It's a topsy-turvy thing. So maybe dito sa ano, uh, I will assign from a cluster sa cabinet, one guy. Uh, for example, yung lahat na itong mga pera, it will be Sunny Dominguez. And he will account for the money until the last centavo. And uh, foreign affairs, for example, itong mga trabahante natin, I want people going there once or twice only. As I have said, kayong mga director, matagal naman kayo dyan, eh, mga civil service eligible naman kayo, find the way, there is the computer at your disposal. Pag may mag-apply ng tao, you give him the list, the shopping list, of the documents that he has to produce, then refer to your computer and give him a stub. Marami yan, balote lang ninyo ng plastic, mura lang naman yan. And give him a date and the time where he can go back there to claim his papers. I do not want 
kagaya dyan sa likod ng SM. So, yung sabi ko kay John, na wala na yan John, oh. yung nakatulog dyan sa mga kutabato, kaawa na, most of them from kutabato, yung mga moro na gusto mapunta ng Middle East. Nakahiga dyan sa pavement, anak ka ng mayor ako ron, para ako nakatingin ako. Baka miserable naman itong republika na to. Karaming computers. We have been buying computers. I can look at the budget and kung ipagdikit-dikit mo yung computers dyan, kung nabili, if at all, makalakad ka na sa buwan, naglalakad ka lang. Baon ka lang ng oxygen. So, why is it like this? So, ayaw ko gustong magkita. And for example, kay Bebot, and he's doing it, si Secretary Bilyo, may kiosk. In BI ka, you put your kiosk there. So, the guy wants to have a clearance. Hindi ka bitin mo yung computer na yan. BIR, issue the clearance. Huwag ninyo pabalik-balikin and do not add or take anything from there. Because PTB4, right after the news, would have about 30 to 1 hour. Bakantian, that is for the people of the Republic of the Philippines. You dial 8888. Sabihin mo anong opisina, sino yung tao, magkano ang hiningi. And I will act immediately in 24 hours. No, to si... Alfred uh, Valenzuela, sir. Transaction ako dito sa Davao City. Sa of course, it's a local government concern. But as president, I can always have my way. Huwag ninyo akong pilitin na to take a punitive action against you. O, yan lang. Dial, ninyo, Tagalogin ninyo, Bisaya, Ilocano, whatever, Somali, bagyan, kay sa Afrika yan. Any, any dialect, waray, whatever, sulat mo lang. Ilunggo, te, te kakadto ko sa uh, opisina ni, why siya nga to, pagbalik ko, kapangayo, pa sa kwarta, ay lintian. <laughs> okay. We have to Ganito yan eh. We are all Filipinos. I will challenge you. Gusto ba natin ng bayan na matino? Mga anak ninyo maligaya, makapag-aral, makapaglabas na hindi sinasaksak, nakapaglabas na walang hold up, walang... Gusto niyang bayo na yan? Of course. Ibigay ko yan. Ibigay ko sa inyo. Kaya I hope that the Supreme Court would uh, rule in it, but I'm, I'm just hoping that uh, uh, the curfew against uh, minors is not really a criminal proced proceeding. As we have insisted, it is a mechanism where we take uh, the child out of the streets to protect him from predators, from being utilized as runners, as yabu, from being raped. So, yan ang kanang kong sana. It's a, a, a custodial, but isa uli sa nanay. And I've been telling, so gaya nung nakita ko na natulog dito sa ilalim ng kotse. So, I had, that night, I, I, I had the parents arrested. That were it not for the intervention ng Gabriela, di ko talaga bibitawan. There's a abandonment of my notes. That's the case. So pagtingin, oh, pinahuli ko talaga. Sabi ko, katokin mo. Drag them to place them under arrest. You are being arrested according to Duterte because you abandoned your children. Abandoned the minors. Arrest them, bring them to jail. Ganun lang yan. So, mga gusto ba ninyo ang bayan natin na maganda? Gusto ba ninyo makatikim talaga ng ang mga tao natin? Masyado gutom. Gusto ninyo yan, ibibigay ko sa inyo yan. Tulungan lang ninyo ako. And I've been warning, even abroad, I've been adamant about this corruption. 
if you give in to the demands, you will just create more problems for my country. The slightest whisper even about asking this, asking for that, you report to me. I will, pagkaganon, pag nalaman ko, Bureau of Fisheries, pag may nagreklamo, kunin ko yung papel. Ang malakan yan ang magpaprocess ng papel niya. Kami ang magpapalakad ng papel niya. Wala kayong gawin dyan. Umupo na lang kayo. Whatever department, do not. Kasi pag manarinig ko, uh, Central Bank o ano, kunin ko yung papel. Ako mismo, hiyain kita. I'll go there. Oh, yan. Anong kulang dyan? Sabihin mo, ilista mo. Walang sobra dyan. Gagawain ko yan. I do, want, do not want to humiliate anybody. But for, for, hanggang magdating tayo dyan, gusto ninyo yan, ay mangyayari talaga yan. Yan ang deal ko sa inyo. But in return, I will try my very best. Now, this, we can, you, you can walk along again on the streets. Pero itong 3 million ito, they are lurking in every corner. Huh? Magastos to and it would take time for us to treat them. President, I just want to find out if you are aware of the resignation of GCG, Jaime Maria Flores. Um, that? Governance Commission for GOCCs who resigned uh, today. GOCCs. I'm not aware of that. Huh? Jim Flores, Jaime Flores. Why? What's, what's wrong with the guy? Walang reason na binigay. Kung sinong papalit? Ah, ang papalit? Ay, just do it. Kung papalit, magdating yan. Kung maghingi ka. I mean, oh, 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 mga director to, I hire. Oh, that's one of trust and confidence. Lalo yung mga pera-pera, I'm very careful. Pag ko, I give it to both the, si ano, Balutan pati si de de ay yung ano yung yung ang pag PC APC so wait well, so suraten you know they have, uh, ang, ang waiting ginano nila sa small time lottery so nang ilaw nang ay you know, George Corpus is retired you know I had to call him siguro mga three or four times Halos mapayak-iyak yung mama. Sabi ko, bakit ayaw mo? Bakit ayaw mo? We have to serve our country. We will be on sa retirement days mo. Ito si police. And uh, isa pa, if I would mention, si Wong. I had twice, he had to come home because I, did, I said, you come here and talk to me. Bakit? Hindi pwede. Then the second time, uh, Hindi ako kontento, tinawag ko ulit. Sabi ko, napaka-ano mo naman. Sabi ko, ay ayaw. So, finally, ay, it's not really a matter of a second choice, but uh, uh, gusto ko lang talaga ng ano. Then, uh, I, I, I remember that uh, I have a guy. Eh, kasama ko sa dormitoryo noon yan. Karumate ni, you know, isang Ilocano rin. Pero sila Ilocano. Si Billy na Mandula is from Baguio. Bebot sa Isabela. You know what? I went to Isabela. Sa mga goods. So I was directing the flow of goods. Ganon, ng pera. Pati pera, si DSS, uh, WD, si, T, uh, si Secretary Tigualo. And we were talking about drugs. Na doon yung mga congressman. Doon kay, kay, kay na doon si, si Bebot. Pagkatapos, lumipad ako ng Isabela, then to Lawag. Alam mo, pag landing ko sa Lawag, magkakain na lang kami kay Governor Aime Marcos. Wakain ko, binunuan ako ng aid ko na, Sir, mayroon doon siyabo factor <laughs> sa Isabela. Kung saan yung banda? Sabi ko, pero tama, sabi ko kay Bot, Bot ano ang, ang sitwasyon dito sa doon? Sabi niya, masama. There you are. That's your answer. Regions 1, 2, and 3. 
pinakamaraming siyabo na natinatapon from the international seas or near our inter- territorial waters, may mga GPS, yung minsan nakita mo sa newspaper na mga kaldero na sealed, doon tinatapon sa mga barko yan. Uh, 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 hear me right, everybody. Hindi na China yun, sabi mga Chinese dito. It's a global thing. At uh, para ang Pilipino, I cannot just show you for the life of me kung paano ko ano, na yung matrix ng flow ng droga. Tinatamaan lahat. And uh, the Philippines is also a critical uh, para sa kanila uh, transshipment. Kaya dito yung isang container bumig- bumigay 67 ganon bricks cocaine. Nawala lahat. Tapos pinasira ko yung pantalan. Nabi ko sa polis, pag hindi na sa uli yung 16 bricks na yan, Iparing squad mo lahat dito. Lahat. Pati then uh, little by little the bricks were returned. Dalawa lang ang missing. But yung nakadalawa, wala na dito. Pero I was I was, was shocked to learn na lahat na bricks. Ganito kalaki kayo. Bumiga yung ceiling, bumagsak yung and 67 bricks were all missing. Kasi malaman namin, kaya parang itlog, yung may, may ano sila, compartment. Uh, sinirahan ko yung gate, sabi ko sa polis, pagka uh, hindi ito masauli, na sorry na lang human rights, you better come for the mass funeral. Pero patayin mo ito lahat dito, wala, bubuhay sa inyo, sa uli, hindi nyo yun. Sa uli. Oh, di. Dapat ang human rights, matuto rin magpinulis ba? Tapos sabi na, eh, dote, istorya mo lang yan. Niwala ka pala. Ganun lang yan. Istorya lang ito sa lahat. Buhay na to. Human rights, storytelling. That, that's, that's what it is all about. Mr. President, good evening po. Cedric Castillo from GMA7, sir. Welcome back. Sir, uh, no less than uh, the Russian ambassador said na uh, they know that they have a negative uh, image dito po sa Pilipinas, particularly as portrayed by Hollywood. Now, sir, my question is, how do you plan to allay the fears of some, if not many, Filipinos of the Russians, uh, the Chinese, may mga comments, particularly sa social media na the communists? <laughs> Hoy! Hoy! Wala nang komunista, that's an ideology that is long of long gun. Ang mga komunista, naghihiram nga tayo. I do not have to answer this simple terms. Wala nang komunista ngayon. The Communist Party is just for really the control. Para hindi sa sabog. There are billions of them. Pero kung sabihin mo na sa commune, magtrabaho tayong lahat, those were the propaganda days of the Americans during the Cold War. Tell you. Hindi ganun kalupit ang mga tao doon kasi kababayan, kadugo nila. But you know, the, uh, the, uh, the Cold War, right after the Second World War, that was the main... Pupunta uh, nga sa Russia, ano sabi ng Russia? Tutulungan niya tayo. Magsabi ko lang, Duterte, kung ano, tutulungan ka namin kasi naawa kami sa iyo. Komunista. Kaganda ng... Kita mo, ang yaman ng... Lahat doon, ang Lexus taxi lang yan doon. <laughs> Bitchy to to. Lahat doon na kayo sports to. Mr. President, good evening. Jem Avancenia po ng TV5 para daw po sa last question. Mr. President, ngayon lang po, kinuronahan si Kylie Versoza bilang Miss International 2016. Ano po yung message niyo sa kanya? Well, of course, I am happy. I am always happy 
if our beautiful women win all the titles uh, kasi Pilipino tayo it gives us uh, kunting hambog it lifts the parang mayabang tayo na oh kita mo magaganda ang mga magaganda ang mga maming Pilipina pero yung lahat kay diyan sa Human Rights Commission mga pangit Okay na po, Mr. President. Uh, I'd like to congratulate again. I'd like to congratulate the Miss International. Mabuhay ka. At uh, I'd like to meet her. Uh, just to congratulate her personally. Yes. Uh, Meron pong pahabol, Mr. Can President. Can we wind up? Uh, just one last question. Hi, sir. This is just a follow-up to what you said earlier about um, you promising to God that you will no longer say uh, cuss, uh, cuss um, or curse words. Does this mean that we will no longer hear um, tirades or harsh words from you directed to the U.S., to EU, and even maybe to uh, Senator Laila de Lima? There is always a time. Actually, kung kilala mo ako, magtanong ka dyan sa mga kababata ko, Sunny, Yasay, Bebot, kasama ko ngayon doon mo ito. For the long eh, si Panelo. Takal kami nagsama. Superman, I can read your mind. Ika nga. That's always a timing. It's always a timing, a time for everything. Time to be foul, mouth, and a time to, ano pa man, ah, uh, I, I, I do not want anybody reading my mind because hindi na ako But it's all calibrated. It's all uh, but timing. Just watch out for one thing in life. That's what I've learned. Miscalculation. Okay? Thank you. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. President. Magandang gabi po.